This is one of the few places on Earth where you can actually hear butterflies fly. But this year, despite the way it looks and sounds, the monarch butterfly is in trouble. Eduardo Rendon says the monarch population is the lowest since he and his monitoring team started counting them by measuring the size of the breeding areas. We've been studying it for about 14 years, and this is down for about 75% below the average number that come here. Dr. Lincoln Brower's study of the shrinking butterfly population has stirred up an international hornet's nest over who is to blame. There is no question the Achilles heel of the monarch butterfly is deforestation in Mexico. This computer-enhanced satellite image over one of the butterfly sanctuaries shows what the area is supposed to look like. But this picture of a nearby mountain shows the impact of illegal logging here. Logging the Mexican government has been unable to stop. The butterflies need the fir trees for protection from the winter cold and rain. The Americans and the Canadians blame the Mexicans for the decrease in the winter habitat. But there's also growing evidence of fewer monarchs coming back from the north each year. In the soybean and cornfields across America, where the butterflies live and breed in the summer, their food is disappearing. The more powerful herbicides used today on these genetically modified crops are believed to be killing the milkweed plants that grow among them. The only thing monarchs eat, something Mexican officials are not hesitant to point out. We need to make sure that our agricultural practices allow for certain areas to maintain milkweed populations. As resilient as they are delicate, monarch butterflies have survived previous devastating losses from natural disasters, like this killer frost three years ago. But will they be able to withstand man-made threats too? We're close to where the straw breaks the camel's back. How much can you load on this butterfly before its capacity to bounce back uh, is, is wiped out. The monarchs are now on their way north. Just don't expect to see as many of them in the backyard or the park this summer. Mike Saray, Michoacan, Mexico.